everyone, it's been Divine and I was just about to leave the room today because I, I've done a whole lot of videos and of course I got prompted to do another card reading so this is messages from your angels and I haven't done this one for a while because I guess my domino angels has always been you know I've always been doing the domino angels so but anyway I think these were one of the first sort of like card decks I ever got um, from Doreen Virtue so um, these always hold special meaning so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just gently shuffle the cards whilst I'm focusing on a message that will be relevant to us I don't know when you'll be seeing this video what I usually do is um, film quite a few videos and that way I can sort of stretch it out um, and then when I feel like um, I don't know I just get a feeling like this is the time to upload the video then this is when you'll be seeing it so um, hello future selves <laughs> you're seeing this in the future um, of course it's right now for you guys but anyway you know what I mean all right here we go I'm just gonna close my eyes now and we shall ask for a message for each one of us okay Alrighty, here we go. Oh, it's hard to see, isn't it? Sorry. Merlina. Okay, there's some interesting things about this particular card. I used to look at this card and go, oh, I got Merlina. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, there is, there is some interesting things here. You are confused and indecisive because you don't have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Now what you will notice on this card is there are a lot of symbols like the rabbit with the um, you know this special crystal here um, there's all these angels in the background and you know butterflies and things so things are transforming information is coming from the higher realms um, you know the moon is going to be important there's a whole lot of information that is on this card so anyway I'll just read what the actual inside says Okay, if it, it, you felt like you are chasing your tail, looking at this option, then that option. This indecisiveness is exhausting you. The reason why you're confused is that you do not have enough information to make an informed decision. Your choices appear too similar right now, but once you conduct additional research, excuse me, I hiccuped, your decision will become more clear. First, begin by asking God and the angels to enter your dreams and give you more information. Then ask your feelings to give you guidance. This means imagining what it would feel like to make this decision. Then imagine what it would feel like to make the other choice. Go dig within and notice how your body reacts as you try on the different options. If your gut or jaw tightens, this is a sign that something isn't right. If your heart flutters with warmth, this is a sign that you are on the right path. Before making your final decision, seek the counsel of wise friends and teachers whose experience and intuition can guide you. Okay, so again, I find that the card of Molina comes up when there's been perhaps some sort of issue in your life where you've been hurt. So whether a friend has upset you, a family member has upset you, you've had an argument with your spouse, your kids are upsetting you or something. So you're feeling these conflicting thoughts within yourself. So part of you is really annoyed, the other part of you is annoyed with yourself because you're annoyed. You know, part of you wants to ring up that person and give them a blasting, the other part of you is like, no you don't do that. The other part of you is still hurt from the result of the argument or the result of whatever's been going on. And the other part of you is like, no, we don't do that. So you're fighting with yourself. And a lot of the times this happens when there's only been half of the story revealed to you. So, you know, you've had someone go blah, 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 blah. And, you know, you're feeling a little bit annoyed about it, but it's only half of the story. So whoever they're telling you about or whatever's going on, you know, you haven't heard the other side of the story, so you don't know. But your first instincts are that you're upset. So what this card is saying is just wait, hold your horses. Don't go jumping into anything at the moment. Don't go and fire off at anybody or um, you know completely delete people off of your friends lists or something like that. There is more to this story that is still yet to, to be revealed. 
and as I was explaining there's a little crystal that the rabbit is holding and that is a red crystal which would be you know your base chakra or your root chakra and when this is out of alignment everything is over you know like um, over emotional over upsetting over you know blah 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 all these things going on you're craving your sexuality is just like over stimulated or under stimulated there's something out of balance and you know so you're not getting the full complete story because you're not feeling complete within yourself either and I also see like the yin yang in there you know the opposites there is opposites you know that need to go together the opposites attract me we, we know all that but there is a dark side to each one of us and a light side you know a lighter hearted side and you know our shadow sides is not something to be um, afraid of um, you know it's something that we need to embrace otherwise we're always rejecting part of who we are so don't go and reject other people and, and you know make this um, a big massive problem in your life you don't have all the information there's still information that is on its way to you and uh, there are still um, ways to solve this without being dramatic um, if you've already like for example spoken to someone and blasted them already you know it may be an opportunity for you to apologize and say that you know you don't have all the information um, or whatever and you're sorry for it or whatever it is maybe you do need to apologize maybe um, someone needs to apologize to you but whatever the situation is going on in your life at the moment please always know that you are always loved and supported by the angels no matter what mistakes that you've done or you think that you've done no matter who you've yelled or cussed out or whatever it is that you've done um, no matter what you feel guilty about at the moment um, you know the angels the spiritual realm God Jesus everybody um, still loves you and they still see that this in the big scheme of things this tiny little problem that is in your life at the moment is nothing compared to what you're going to achieve if you keep following a positive path that is um, many people continue down a negative track they make mistakes um, you know they might yell at people and then continue yelling at people and wonder why they're getting hurt back in return some people will continue going through that cycle and that's their journey as well so Marlene is saying you are confused and indecisive because you don't have enough information so if you're feeling this confusion within yourself and nothing really else has gone on but you you know you're feeling a confusion within yourself just wait it out perhaps another two or three days and see how you feel about it then perhaps then is enough time for um, you know a dream to come to you with the information or someone will ring you with some information or, or you'll read something on the internet or so on and so forth that will help you to your goal okay and that is another good thing as well if you're not sure how you feel about a friend or a person or someone that you're meeting or something or even a job um, that's right for you um, see yourself in the position and if you start to like tense up and all of that well then you know that it's not right for you um, if you see yourself with the person and all you can feel is happiness and, and all of that then, then then it's right for you at this time in your life sometimes things that are you know we have these friends that are wonderful and everything but they are not always there they're just there as a signpost um, to you um, they're not always there for the rest of your life it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with them or anything like that but they helped you they guided you uh, you learn from it and they learn from it and then you move on you know go your own separate ways so there you go everyone I hope that was helpful in your life at the moment and um, I'm looking forward to hearing some of the comments if you want some more videos like this or you have questions on spirituality or frequently asked questions about angels or um, just you know um, love and relationships um, animals spirit guides whatever it is please make comments and then I can um, keep a video tab of all those things and make some videos for you okay I hope everyone's safe and happy wherever you are and until the next video it's goodbye from me